Welcome back. Welcome to section 3, Storage and Compute Isolation. In the past section, we saw that how storing the data on the cluster has the implication that we cannot delete the cluster because if we delete the cluster, we will lose the data. So we will have to keep our cluster running 24-7 and keep paying for them even if there are no jobs running. But that's not how we want our architecture to be. So in this video, we will see how we can store the data off the cluster in another Google product, a Google storage product, which goes by the name Google Cloud Storage or GCS for short. For this, we do not have to create any special cluster. We will, we still have the same cluster, my second cluster. However, we have changed the Spark driver. So instead of writing to a hive table, we are now writing directly to the distributed storage, the Parquet files. And note here that I ha I'm not using HDFS file scheme. I'm using GS, which is Google storage file scheme. And <clears throat> this is the bucket name. And this is the folder name. So this, what this is that every data proc cluster comes pre-installed with a GCS connector or a GCS jar, which transparently uh, allows Spark programs to write to Google Cloud Storage. So for example, uh, if we have an HDFS implementation available, we can directly write to HDFS. So what this does is when uh, the Spark program sees the GS scheme, uh, it will automatically choose the appropriate jar, which is GCS connector in, the, in this case, and will write your data to the GCS bucket. So you can download this file uh, from the link in the resource folder. So what I'll do is that I'll uh, submit the job. There is no change. I will say uh, demo GCS and I will say my second cluster. I will choose PySpark. I will say GS, GSpark GCS demo. And that is it. One more Spark property, spark.submit.deploy mode, which is client. And that's it. I will do a submit. In the meantime, when the job is running, I will go to the left uh, panel and I will scroll down to cloud storage. You can pin it because we will be frequenting this place and go to the browser. If I go there, this is where my driver files are stored. So this is my bucket. This is where my driver files are stored. As you can see, these both files are here, which we have been running so far. Uh, now what you will see is that our data will also be written here. So it says, I, I forgot to update the log. It still says that storing random numbers in a hive table, although we are not storing it in hive table anymore, we are writing to the distributed storage, which is GCS in this case. Uh, it will, it says complete. We will come here, we will refresh and rightfully so we will see the folder random numbers and in there we will see the success marker file and the parquet files where our where our actual data is stored. So now our stored, our data is stored off the cluster, which means I can now safely delete my cluster. And when I create a new cluster, my data would still be intact and I can read it where I left. I can, I'll show you that in a moment, I will delete this cluster and you will see the, that the cluster has started, the deletion has started, but you can see the data here. So if you create a new cluster, you will be able to read the data as it was written by the previous job. So th that's the level of transparency that we get. Uh, however, one thing to note is that if I still write to the hive table, it still will write the data and store the metadata on the cluster because metadata or the meta hive meta store is still currently running on the cluster. So we will see in the next video how we can externalize that as well and how we can configure Hive databases to write to GCS as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.